Let me know when we record it. All right. In three, two, one. These fall fields have got us thinking, well, hey, when are we going to start to see some of those fall colors across our area? And I will tell you, we're starting to see some hints of some of those trees changing colors at some of the higher elevations in the North Carolina mountains. But we still got a long ways to go before foli foliage really peaks as we head into the next couple of months. So this is a look at when we typically see the peak time for fall foliage in the western Carolinas here. Uh, for the high mountains, this is up along the North uh, Carolina Tennessee border and into the higher elevations. We're looking at mid October, so we're still probably five to six weeks out from that. Uh, the lower elevations, places like Asheville, down to Hendersonville, even into Brevard, and then the higher elevations of Pickens, Oconee, and Greenville County. So you're talking places like Table Rock State Park, up in towards uh, Jones Gap, Caesars Head, these places. We're typically looking at the last week and a half of October. So again, we're about six to seven weeks out from that. And and then when it comes to the upstate, early November is when we typically peak with the fall colors. So we're still um, a couple months away from that since it's still early September at this point. So why do leaves change colors or how do leaves change colors here? The less sun they have, the cooler the, and the cooler temperatures, that is what helps to change these leaves over from those bright greens that we get all summer long to the more vibrant colors that we get as we head into the fall. Uh, fall. And with the less sun and the cooler temperatures, chlorophyll starts to break down and that then allows for that green color to turn into the reds, the yellows, the oranges that we see all across our area. Now, the weather does have an influence on this, though. Drier weather is best, which we've had a decent amount of that drier weather through the month of August. We want that to kind of continue into September and October in terms of what we expect uh, for those uh, the, the fall foliage there. You also want these clear, chilly nights, which we actually have a little bit ahead of schedule, at least for now. We've got some of those cooler nights, so that's going to help to really create these vibrant colors there. Wet weather though can actually mute colors. So if we do start to pick up on our rain rates over the next couple of weeks, that could have a negative effect. Now, in terms of the colors that we see uh, when it comes to these leaves changing colors with the cooler weather, that's when the chlorophyll breaks down and then it's the chemicals that dictates what kind of colors we're going to end up getting. So green is produced by chlorophyll. Once that chlorophyll breaks down, it's replaced by or it's uh, some of these other chemicals start to come out a little more, a bit more. Xanthophall is what creates a yellow color in the leaves. Carotene, which is the same thing that would be in carrots, uh, that creates the orange color. And then anthocyan is what creates that red color. And again, bright colors are more likely when late summer is dry and autumn has those sunny and cooler nights. Uh, so that's what we're looking for this fall to hopefully get some of those brilliant colors. Of course, this is all looking ahead to a long season. We'll continue to keep you updated on foxcarolina.com and of course on air and on our Fox Carolina First Alert weather app with all of those fall outlooks there and we'll keep you updated on a regular basis as to what we're seeing across our area.